pretty much it's a never give up situation. I used to live in Florida and I happened to come back here and I had nowhere to stay. I got a kid and I really wanted a better life for him. Hi, my name is Brittany Petrie and I was born and raised in Elkhart, Indiana. And now I'm in Bay City, Michigan at the Good Samaritan Rescue Mission Shelter. Monday starts at 6.30 in the morning. Breakfast, people! Breakfast! Good morning, Jean. Who's Good here, morning. Honey? How are Good you, Jean? I'm well rested. How are you? I'm fine. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry, too. Oh, because no, we're having an open breakfast. They give you breakfast, lunch, and dinner there, and sometimes snacks in between, which is actually pretty cool because babies can't go without food. They try to feel what you're feeling. You have people that you can actually trust, so it makes it a lot more comfortable when you know the people there. People help you there. They talk to you. They are friends with you. Like, if one of the mothers go into the smoking room, someone keeps an eye on them. And, like, if you're getting ready or dressed, the other kids just play with each other. So that's, that's no big deal. I mean, they have fun there. There's never a dull moment there. The rules here are simple and easy. And they are. You have some chores to do, and all the chores are split up evenly between all the ladies that are here. You always have to make your bed. You have to clean up your room. You got to make sure that if you have kids that they're safe and not off running around by themselves. They're actually here to help you to uh, make sure that your room stays clean so when you get an apartment, your apartment will stay clean. And it's just to help you out in life. We all eat breakfast at 7 o'clock, and then after that, you can go out and find a job or do whatever you need to do. As for me, I go to the soup kitchen Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays to volunteer. Why I volunteer at the Salvation Army Soup Kitchen is because of the fact that I love helping others. And I just think it's a pleasure working with the crew there and serving the homeless people that always come in there. It is, it's hilarious, it's fun, and they have wonderful people there. The staff wise, it's, it's fun. If you're not willing to help people, then you're never going to get help back. That's what I believe in. Normally late in the afternoon, I go to work two days a week at Lumber Baron's restaurant and it happens to be pretty fun working there it's it's a blast you need to have fun while you're working enjoy what you're doing every day I mean I'm a server assistant or if you want to call it essay um, I clean up the tables and I wash tables and I stock things and I also help the bartender. Every day is pretty much typical and then at the end of the night I just like to sit down and relax for a little bit and then go to bed. At first I didn't like it here and now it's it's okay to be here but I just want to make it out on my own. I have seen a lot of people get back on their feet. If I wasn't at the shelter right now, I would probably be on the streets, and that I could not see myself in. I'd rather be at a shelter than out on the streets with my son. The kind of life that I want for Isaac would have to be where he has a home over his head, food in his stomach, clothes on his back, and that he can have friends and family that will be there for him. And that he knows that his mother is doing something with her life instead of being a low-life mother. 
he is such a adorable little baby boy, and he's always happy, and I mean, he is, he is just a joy of my life, and I love him.